All right, everybody. Thank you so much for whether you're watching this live or whether you are taking some time uh, after the fact to watch this video. I appreciate it either way. Um, I'm Lance Meister of uh, Great Box Games. Uh, I have with me uh, Roger Moore, 007. Roger, how's it going? Good. How you doing, Lance? Uh, you know me, day to day, you know. It's Friday, though. It's Friday, and so it's Friday at noon. So that means we're doing a live stream. And <clears throat> sometimes we will, sometimes we will do uh, games that are uh, just that we've already published and just showing them off to maybe give somebody an idea of how those what those games are like. And sometimes uh, we do games that are upcoming. And so this is a game. Uh, this is Eos, uh, the Island of Angels. Uh, this is um, this is actually that 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 date right there is incorrect. On September seventh, that is listed on the. Uh, this date right here that that's incorrect uh that is actually september 9th is going to be the day that this goes live but still so this is uh in conjunction with king raccoon games and gray fox games um this is the uh, next design from felix the designer of sukiyumi full moon down uh this is a game of this is an asymmetric game of exploring this island here where you can see that there are these uh, angels that are waiting for us to rescue them they have been petrified with uh, horrible magic um, and we are going to be traveling around and saving those there are some epic quests that you can see uh, around the board here that we can undertake if we like and also eventually some of these guys these evil demon lords which are going to be represented by this deck of cards here uh, will eventually populate the board and want to do battle with us um, each player has a faction board, um, which is their, uh, like their, their crew, which is this right here. And then they have a ship over here. And the ship has different powers and abilities that you will um, unlock as the game progresses. Uh, not only are you going to be moving your ship around the board like so to do certain things and you know, rescue these angels and what have you, uh, but you will also be using a, like a kind of a uh, action selection process where you will take uh, and you'll activate these uh, crew members for the different powers and abilities. I'm not going to, you know, that's that's about as far as I'm going to dive into the rules of the game. Um, Roger, I'm going to ask that you play uh, green today because I want your feedback. I want you to after the, after okay. you play today. I want right. you to I want you to to give noom. Us the noom. I want you to play the noom and I want you to like fill out the the play the play tester feedback. And let us know. Um, okay. oh, I should mention to anybody who is watching this, uh, <laughs> Chris Goodlett says, What's up, petrified angels? Sounds like weeping angels. Well, I don't know. They're petrified. Maybe when the rain hits them just perfectly, it'll look artistically like they're crying. But Chris is an awesome dude. Uh, he, uh, he has his own uh, cool stuff going on in the world of the board game uh, world, so make sure you check out his stuff as well. Thanks for, thanks for taking the time to... Uh, to, to you know chat and like as I said is Chris just came in and made some comments if you're watching this and you want to ask us any questions about this game or anything else Gray Fox related I'm here and I'll be monitoring the chat and I'll be happy to answer them as best as I can I should mention that if you want to test out this game it is on Tabletop Simulator as we're playing right now and you can just go into the workshop of Tabletop Simulator and you can search for EOS EOS and you be able to download this module into your tabletop simulator. You can play it with your friends. You can just play it solo. You can goof around with it. Um, and if you're wondering how to play, the full rule book is located right there. So you you be able to take your time to read it, and you can dive in and you can play the game. All right. So um, we are going to be playing the uh, the, the speed em up version here. So I don't. Uh, so Roger, take your thirty extra gold and three shields to begin with. Um, and then also take whatever I don't know what oh you get you get to pick an angel right at the beginning I believe or there's an ability you have that gets an angel right away uh, that you can well, use. Well, it looks like I get a well I get two journey cards to start with for sure. Well, then make sure you go and select either the ones from the market here. I think there's an artifact here, which is pretty cool. You can get that one, um, but then make sure you replace them off the top of the deck here after after you do so. Um, but you take your two. Oh, and make sure you um grab two uh two missions and select one of them for uh end game scoring and also other ways to score some points all right so let me see here i got and i get i get one ship upgrade to start with so i'm gonna which one do i like again god i played the guild of seafarers so I, the only reason i'm playing guild of seafarers is just because it's easier for me like if i'm streaming it, like it's it's perfectly right side up the board's right side up for me maybe next time we stream i'll play a different faction 
Um, let's see here. Which one do I like again? I do like Fate and Fortune because it's a thing that happens every turn. And but you know what? I you know you just can't beat plus one uh, sail movement, so I'm going to take that upgrade to start with. And let's see here. Got my coins. Got my one upgrade. All right, here we go. Uh, whatever. You, oh, I got to draw my two mission cards too. Oops. Which of these two do I want? Alright, so the Great Promoter. If I win at least two Epic Adventures, I immediately gain 10. And then have at least 15 ranks increased, then immediately gain 10. Well, I like that. I, I, you know, I haven't done a, an Epic Quest. Um, which ones did we get here? Place an Angel Pawn here. Oh, we didn't place an Angel Pawn. There we go. There's another Angel Pawn. Uh, and then use a blessing action when you have zero demons on your boards to wake them. All right, that's easy enough. And then, and then, oh, oh, you get, but you get eighteen demons. <laughs> when oh, yeah. You, when you go, I was like, oh, that, nice. I was it's like, trade off. I was like, that's easy. Oh, you get eighteen demons when you get that. Uh, and then, ooh, build six um, ship upgrades and get Queen of the Deep Sea. That's cool. And then discard an angel here. Kill all 21 demons here. Ooh. Uh, and then discard 100 coins at the end of your turn. Uh, okay, maybe. And then gain 7 victory points for every epic adventure you won. And, well, you know what? I'm just going to take the great promoter. I like that one better. Perfect. All right. So I will begin the game. Uh... I have to take a ship action first because I'm not on the board yet and I have an exhaust so I unexhaust my nation board which doesn't happen and then now I'm gonna take a sail action and where do I want to go um, I got a two movement here what is this? <laughs> let's see here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something a little bit different this time. Something that I haven't done before. Alright, I'm going to... For my sale action, I'm going to play this guy. So I'm going to get 10 coins and... No, not that guy. Sorry. I'm going to play this person here. So I'm going to I'm gonna play Captain Anara. So I'm going to gain 3 journey cards and increase 2 ranks. Uh, and I get a movement of 2 because I have my upgrade, though I have a movement of 3. So I'm going to do a place my... Here... So I'm going to get another journey card. So I'm going to select three journey cards. And then well, that's one. And that's two. And that's three. So there's a method to my madness here. Um, so then I'm going to gain... I'm, I'm going to have to draw a threat card. And I'm also going to get five glory for going into that spot. But first of all, let me get my two ranks. I'm going to go and rank up my person here, and then I'm going to take my three journey cards. Did you take your journey cards? Yeah, I got them. Yep, I took. I just took two off the top of the deck. You didn't. You didn't like the. Uh, the. I don't know. You're weird. I like. I like that card. No, I'm weird, but you know. Uh, Maybe I should have <laughs> said two. I drew or not that great. And then let's see. Kind of like this one. Yeah, I'm gonna take that one. And then the final one. Ugh, I'll take a mystery. Mystery meat. Eh, whatever. Um, uh, let's see here. And then, and then I gain another one. Oh, I gotta put my mission card down. Here. And then I'm gonna gain another one. I'm gonna have to discard one of these just right off the bat. Because I got too many journey cards. Uh, let's take another mystery one. And then... Let's see here. Oh, damn. That one hasn't been good either. Alright, that's fine. Uh, check my hand size. My hand size right now is 3. Because I haven't uh, upgraded myself in that way in any way. So I'll discard this one. And I have no uh, bonus effects at the end of my turn, so 
It's all up to you there, Roger. Okay. Uh, let's see. Play this one. So I'm going to get two shields. Ten coins. Oh, yeah. sorry. Sorry, I forgot to drop my threat card. Oh, I yeah. Wait. And I Go forgot ahead. to take my five glory. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go so, ahead. Uh, so I went there, and I got one victory point for going up there. And then... No whammies. Uh, draw one demon lord, suffer its attack, but don't spawn it. Super. Uh, I lose three victory points, and I get seven demons. Excellent. Excellent. So I'll take back that one that I had. Perfect. And then I'll put my seven demons on my ship. All right, now you can go. Okay, so I'm going to put my ship here. Another five coins, and I can sail one. So I will move there, and I think that's all I can do. All right, so I'm going to take my prepare action, because we have to remember to take our prepare actions, Roger. Uh, yep, exactly. And I'm going to... go here on my scout, so I get to take a sail action. And I'm going to play... I should flip that one over. I'm going to play this one. Master Keen that allows me to gain 10 coins and then gain two journey cards. And then I don't like any of these again, so let's go ahead and take one and take one. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, and then I'll flip that over and then I'm gonna move on to this spot here and I'm going to gain uh, six more small demons because I just love demons. Can't get enough. And go ahead, sir. Okay. Um, let's see. I am going to... I'm going to take a morale. So I'm going to go on this. So I'm going to get a victory point. Okay. And then for my action, I'm going to go to my scout which means I can sail. I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'm going to just move one. Oh, by the way, I should probably do my actual action, action which is this. Sorry. <laughs> which, which is fine. Just go ahead. Because I was, I, 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 this won't affect you at all. I'm going to... Okay, that's it for me. So I'm doing this one where I have to build six total uh ship upgrades oh, okay. in this spot and i but there's no clicker on there so i activated my um like this 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 fine person here all right prep action action did you do a prep action on your turn by the way yep yep i did i did a, i did a morale boost sweet all right and then i'm gonna activate because i can activate one of my persons twice i'm gonna activate her again and i'm gonna pay the 15 money again and I'm going to add another two cubes to this. Boom! All right, go for it. Um, I am going to go to my treasure and get 12. And then I get, oh shoot, my, my other thing. I was going to do this first, so I'll take two points. I'm just going to do it all at once. And then I get to do another one so I'm going to get five victory points total he's in the lead this, this, yep this. but not probably for long I'm going to bask in that for now there you go All right. screenshot All right. And, and gloat yes there you go alright I'm going to take my uh, morale action as my prep action I'm going to go up on my scout again to take another sail action and I'm going to play my lady Cassandra card uh, that allows me to build two more shields. Like so. I'm going to move a couple of these demons over to those shields. So I can gain shields instead. And then I get two more uh, ship upgrades, which I'm not going to take as ship upgrades. I'm going to build them 
on this card. And I'm going to complete this epic quest. Woo! Woo! And then, so, um, I get the Queen of the Deep Sea uh, on, as, as my reward. And so I'll flip that over like so. And then show that it's done. And then I finish the Chronicle entry, which is right there. And let's go ahead. i got to find my Queen of the Deep Sea card. It's a new ship. It's the one that I, I wanted to play with. I've, I've wanted to play with this one for a while. So I, I may have seeded the board uh, with... Oh, maybe I should turn the cards over and look because I'm not doing it the right way. <laughs> so I'm going to look for my reward card here. Come on, where's my... Where's my submarine? That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. It'll be like the last one, I'm sure. There it is. Of course. Submarine. I get a submarine now instead of a boring old ship. Oh, that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, never gain demons from oceanaries and ignore a threat from oceanaries, but not from epic adventures. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I don't have to when you when you normally would like, you know I don't have to I don't have to draw threat cards on any of these like little little spots or whatever because I'm a submarine I'm underneath the ocean, so I I maintain the same number of pawns as before which is fine, and then I enter my chronicle entry uh, which will get me eleven victory points, and so you were ahead you you were leading once Roger but no no longer, okay. and. Good said. <laughs> and then that causes a demon to be summoned. So let's go ahead and flip this over. Oh, look, it's the exact same one. What are the chances? So I lose three victory points. One, two, three. I gain, what is it? How many? Seven more angels? Perfect. Uh, seven more demons? Perfect, perfect. And then uh, it's in spot number five. Do you want to find spot number five for me and, and put a demon on there? Yeah. Oh, let me look. Hang on. One, two, three. One, two, three. He's right there. I'm going to get rid of that idiot because he's causing us to lose five victory points on Chronicle stuff. That's not good. No, it isn't good at all. All right. Uh, I need to level up my uh, level up my warrior badly. Uh, all right. So there. I, I went there. I did that. And then I'm done. now I actually... Um, since I did that, that was actually just my morale bonus thing that I did to move there and do all of that. Um, so my action now will be to activate my first officer because I want to upgrade. So I'm going to spend 15 money again. One, two, three. And I'm going to do two upgrades to my warrior. Like so, so I can activate him on my next turn and kill, start killing some of these demons that are on my ship. All right, my complete turn is now done. I will allow you to go. Okay. I'm gonna bounce back over here and take a morale boost and get four more victory points, so I'm back in front, but not for long. You don't know that. I want yeah, you. To, I, I want you. You need to get some demons on on your ship. No, I don't want any demons. I'm, I'm good. Uh, well, then you see. need to start okay. using swords and kill the demons that are on my ship. Yeah, that's true, um, but I need to do this first. So I'm going to spend 15. And I'm going to do two, one, two, two ranks. And uh, that will be my turn. All right. All right, final one. I'm going to, now I'm going to activate my... Warrior, like I said, I'm gonna have to spend. Oh, wow, I'm running low on cash. So I have. I'm gonna gain two glory for that. So I gain a victory point, like so. And then let's see here. I get four swords, but I'm gonna burn my two bonus swords. I got two, so I'm gonna have to do a total of six swords. And I'm going to kill six small demons on my ship. So there's two demons killed. There's two demons killed. And then one. And then two. So a total of six demons killed. I'm going to get 
one, two, three, four, five, six glory for that, and I'm gonna get two victory points. Look at that! You were right, Roger. Right there. Told you. Uh, boom. Gonna last long. So I still have plenty of demons to kill over here. So if you could take care of that for me, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Well, get my other stuff. Your, so I your, have your two... warriors right here. You can just yeah, that's them. true. But I have to do a ship action, unfortunately, because I got to get all my guys off the board. Because I only have three pawns. Oh, that's so, right. You you on. you actually cycle through quicker because yeah, you start with. Three. Off my board, so then I got to sail. So I'm gonna play this. So I'm gonna get a rank. Bump that one up, and then I get two swords. I get to move two. Move there and get five. And uh, I think that's all I can do. All right. I want to see this one. If you save, I want to see what Hefto gives you. What's Hefto the Angel? I want to see how good that angel is. Is this Hefto? That's Hefto. Action. Action we use two times per game. Remove one demon lord and gain its trophy. This is not considered a kill demon lord. Then place your ship at any ocean area, no matter the distance. You may ignore a threat and choose to not gain demons from that ocean area. That's that's pretty good. I, I mean, and because like each of these demons, this guy's uh, killing trophy is eight victory points, which wouldn't be so horrible. You won't get a chronicle, but you'd still get the eight victory points. That's pretty sweet. Hmm. Do I want to try to get Hefto? I have to get eighteen demons if I went there, though. That's ridiculous. All right. Well, I got to do my ship action. I, regardless, I got to do my ship action. So let's go ahead and remove all my pawns like you just did uh, and then I take a sail action and this has got plus one movement to it so I'm gonna play this one here this little artifact that you decided wasn't worth anything uh, so the abyssal spear so I'm going to get to be able to move two um, and I ignore threat spaces, which is pretty sweet. So I'm going to move two, and I'm going to go up to this angel. I think. Yes, I'm going to go there. So I don't have to draw a threat card because I'm a submarine. They can't see me. And then I go to the third phase. Um, check my hand limit. Uh, I have a hand size of three, and I have... I have four, so I have to get rid of a card. I'll get rid of this good fishing grounds card. Well, oh, not there. Okay. And then finally, I will do any bonus effects. I have a bonus effect of one sword, so I'll take my bonus effect. And I'll remove another demon, and I will go up one on the glory track. And that's me. You're up. Okay, so I'm going to try something different. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to reduce the cost of what I do by 10, but then we're going to reset this market. You don't like those garbage cards that we had available? Not really, but I, I just kind of want the money reduction. Okay. Well, I don't know if those are any better. Roger needs Roger. cash. And, well, I'm just making it cheaper. So I'm going to go here. So this is only going to cost me 20. And I'm going to do three ship upgrades. So I'm going to do this one. And this one. And this one. And I get a shield. And I get a morale. So I'm going to bump this up and take another shield. And uh, that's mine. All right, I'm going to my prep action. What's my prep action going to be? Hmm. 
I am also going to do the reduce the cost thing. And I'm going to reduce costs on this action here. So it only cost me five. And I'm going to do two upgrades on my treasurer. Wow, what a boring turn. You're up. Okay, so I'm going... Oop, i got to do my... Do my prepare action. I'm going to grab another shield. You have a, you can just take a shield as a prep action? Yeah, well, no, no, no. What I did, I, I did the morale boost. And then going up, I just got a shield. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. And I was like, that's, now, that's that pretty nice, sweet. It doesn't work that way. And I'm going to go to my first officer. I'm going to spend uh, 15. And I'm going to do two ranks. So I'm going to do one. Two. And that's it. All right. Um... Let's see here. Well, I need money, so I gotta go to my treasurer. I'd like to try to get another rank upgrade with that one, but I can't get it right now. So let's see, I'm gonna get 20 gold. And I'm gonna get one morale boost. Ugh. Man, oh man. I am I am not playing this very smart right now. Uh, well, I gotta go here. I got to play a sale action card. I'll just play this one. I'll take the zero because I want to stay in the same place that I'm at. I'm gonna kill two demons. So one, two, and I'll go up two more on that, and I'll gain another victory point. Right, and that's the, my recyclable card, so I get to put it right back in my hand. And oh, and then um, I, I didn't take my prep action, so I apologize. You know, actually, eh, I'm gonna do that action twice, the same exact action twice. So I'll kill another two demons, like so, and then. Only to 17, though, because I can't go higher because I haven't unlocked that spot yet on my on my first officer. But I will gain the seven victory points for being the first person to get to 17. Uh, boom! Take that, Roger. Yep. All right, I'm I'm done. Now you can go. Okay, for my prepare, I'm gonna grab another shield. Just as a reminder, I know we got some people watching us live. If you have any questions about EO City of Angels going live on Kickstarter on September 9th, um, you can download this on Tabletop Simulator and play it for free right now. So feel free to do that if you want to check this game out. The rules are in the module. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Great Box related, you can post those in the old chat and I'll answer those as best I can. Anyway, you what are you doing now? Did you do your turn? Do I get to go now? Um, yeah, so I went to my scout, so I spent five, so I drew a journey card, and it looks like I get to sail. What do I want to do, though? That's the question. Um, I think I'm going to play this one, so... So what is this? So am I rolling the dice, and I get a sword? Is that what that means? So, Helpful Guardians, uh, you get to select one of these. Um, oh, okay. Uh, like, so, I think uh, I think you get a sword, so you get to kill a demon, if you have one. But you don't have any demons on your ship. Right. And then you get to, and then you roll the die. And then, right. um, uh, and if you, and if when you roll the die, if you get the sail action, you get to add one to the right. one that you're already getting out of this. So. You know, you get a, you get a victory point. Oh, I'll, I'll take it. Good for you. Then I can move. I can sail two. I can move two. So I'm going to go over here. But I went through a 
threat card area. Now, Lance, if I land in this spot here, do I have to go in there, or can I just no, go by that it? No, you, that you have to go in there. You can't go by it. it is, okay, it, so... It is an epic quest, sir. Okay, well... I'm trying to do something here. I may change my plan here a little bit. But... So I moved there, so I got to draw a threat card. Who's BP2 if you fall below? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not even on there. <laughs> so it doesn't really hurt me unless you can go negative. Well, you lose BP2 if you fall below. Oh, yeah, never mind. God, yeah. You suck. Yeah, so that's not so bad. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so uh, I think that's my turn. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to activate to get two more swords. And then i got to pick somebody um well I, I i was hoping you'd kill that demon lord but you didn't but that's fine i will activate i'm going there i know i know but i'll activate my uh my scout anyway so i can i can do the i can rescue the angel i'm on so i'm going to uh get the blessing action that means i get uh two journey cards you get one let me pick mine before you cheat and yep. pick your thing. got it no, I'm trying to decide if I want this one. Yeah, I want that one. And then... Uh, oh, I'll take that one, too. All right, sweet. And then replace that one. There you go. And then now you can pick your one journey card. And I'm going to go through the process of saving this angel. So I move that over here. Uh, er we all get one demon for our troubles. And I'm going to get not 12 victory points, but 7 victory points because of that jerk demon lord. So I'll get my 7 I'm victory points. I'm going to get him, but i got to do something else first. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm going to get my 7 Plan. victory points, then i got to pick an angel. So 7 victory points, go to 26. And then which one of these three angels do I want here? Um... Seven shields. That's not bad. Ooh. That's pretty sweet. Would I rather have seven shields? Or would I rather. I'm gonna take Episton. I like that. I like that ability. And then, because I rescued an angel, we placed the angels back in the pile. Shuffle them all up again. Ooh, this guy right here. Yeah, nice. Yep. Swords. And and you can kill uh, sword, uh, demons on another person's ward at, at a one for one instead of a two for right. one. Right, that's good. That is super good. Uh, that that's a ton of victory points if you have somebody rolling around with a with a bunch of demons on their board, on their ship. Didn't you, didn't you, like, have a card or something that got rid of all your demons, like, the turn before I would have done that and got, like, a ton of victory points? I mean, right, I yep. think you did that, you jerk. All right. Jerk, the jerk card? <laughs> yeah, the jerk card. All okay. right. Mess with Lance. Yeah. All right. Drive him of his glory. I, 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 I saved my angel. I took my victory points. I scored my chronicle. So, you're up. Okay, so we're going to unexhaust... And since I got this ship upgrade unlocked, I get a victory point. Oh, good for you. Yep, and then, let's see, I gotta play a card, so I'm gonna play this guy. So I'm gonna be able to move two because I increased my ship movement, but I gotta roll the dice twice. Ooh, and I get a rank. that one my second uh 
no effect because of that card. Again, good for you. And I get to move two, so I'm going to go here. And then um, I have to take another threat card. God, why don't you ever get to summon the Demon Lord one? You just always... No, so I have to get rid of a, of a card. Oof. Well, this one kind of sucks, but... Get rid of that one. It's not... Kind of cool, but I don't want to get rid of my other stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good one. And when you and do when you do a journey card that does a prepare action, uh, you can use it immediately, like like a, or, right. or, or a trigger action. Like you can use it immediately if you want to. So it's like you don't have to wait a turn to use it. Okay, so that's my turn. All right, I'm actually going to use my one my my angel ability here which allows me to get rid of all the demons on my ship I don't get any glory for it but then I get seven ship upgrades so I've used I'll put my angel over to show that I've used it for the one time ability so let's go ahead and get rid of those and then uh, use all these guys off my shields and then um ah just trying to just grab the there we go. And I'm going to pick my seven ship upgrades. One. Uh, let's see. Mm, you can go. This will take me a little bit of time to determine which ones okay. I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to have to get an angel here. here. Well, you can get a journey card, Lance, but I'm gonna I gotta grab my two here because I'm gonna I'm going to uh, free this angel here. All right. Uh, well, you get yours first, though, remember. So. Right. So um, let's see. I'm gonna take this one. That's not bad. Two of the same card. Interesting. What a shame that you uh, you are unable to get the full uh, the full full victory points for rescuing that angel because of this. Yep. This, this jerk. So let's see. So I get this guy. So what oh. I'm gonna get? I gotta. I'm reduced by five. What is it? Thirteen. So That'd be I'm gonna eight. get an eight. Make sure you take your two demons. I'm taking my two right now. Yep. Okay. That angel. Ooh. He looks. Oh, seven ranks. That's nice. And uh, let's see. I think that's it for me. All right. Well, then I'm going to. I have to take a ship action. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just take all my pawns back. And then I have to what is it? Oh, you take my sail action. So I'm trying to decide. Um hmm. 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 I'm gonna play this good company uh, one that allows me to move three, and my submarine just is going to go to the dawn of the Redeemer card over here, and I'm going to get, uh, what is it? Yes, um, oh, do I want to go there, or do I... The way this game works, it speeds up so quickly. I'm just wondering if I'm going to have right. enough time to get rid of all these demons and then and then save this and, and do this thing. And am I going to be able to pull it off? Or if I'm better off just going to the Demon Lord and fighting him? 
one, two, and mm. you know what? I'm actually going to. I was here, right? Yeah. Oh, it's like everything is just perfectly just far enough away from me. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go here. That's fine. I'll figure something out. Uh, and I'm going to take my 18 demons for going into that spot. Um, feel free to uh, uh, <laughs> take your time and do your turn. While okay. I, uh, well, and, uh, so that's my ship action. Well, I'll do the rest of my stuff here, too. Uh, check my hand size. I have plenty of hand size. And then... Um, each player, including you, may increase one morale, and I gain two victory points. So, um, go ahead and increase your morale. And... So I'm gonna do that. And then I get... After doing that, what do I get? I, oh, I get a sword. And then... victory points for doing that and then if you get any bonuses go ahead and do that and then back at it with the demons What'd you do? What'd you do? Um, so I'm going to oop, I'm gonna go here. And uh, I'll get five. And I'm gonna go to my treasurer. And get eighteen. And I get another morale, so I'm gonna bump that up and get another five. And that's my turn. Um. Let's see here. All right, I got to take a normal action here. So I gotta kill these demons. So I might as well just uh, start active. Well, first, prep action. Two more swords. Then I'm gonna use immediately. So I'll activate my warrior for 17. Ooh. I gain uh, two glory, which I can't take. But I get five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten demons slain. Oh man, I can't even get the glory for killing these things. Uh, oh well, it's fine. It's fine. I am playing super suboptimally today. I I don't know what the deal is. Uh, but these demons. You know what? You know what? I'm taking that back. I'm going to actually, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my treasure. And one, two, three, one, two. And then I'm going to do this so I can get the morale upgrade. Um, and I get uh, 20 coins. So I'm going to need that money anyway. So that way, at least I can get the glory for killing all these silly little demons that are on my ship. All right. 
just waiting for you to show that you've like you awakened this angel here or something. Which angel right. did, did you? Oh, you took that one that we forgot to reshuffle him in. Okay, no mind. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So no. Yeah, I forgot. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the demon lord or guy always gain the full blessing. They're making you know, and then gain a hundred money. <laughs> I, nice. Um, let's see. So I am going to I'm going to do this. Reduce the cost of them again. And flush these cards. Man, you like flushing them cards. Well, I just I just want the discount. Oh, I got you. They're not really good cards anyway. That's a new one. I haven't seen that one in a while. Okay, and then I'm going to go here, so it's going to cost me 20. And I get three ship upgrades. Put one there. I'm going to do two here. And I get a shield. And I get a morale, so I'm going to bump this up, and so I'm going to get 10 back. And that's me. All right. Um, well, now I'm going to go to my... All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take another morale upgrade. And... Again, I feel like I'm playing this extremely suboptimal right now. Um, I'm going to have to go here. Even though I would have liked to use my warrior. All right, so now I'm gonna do my thing where I activate my warrior. I'm gonna spend 17 money. One, two, three, four, one. And then four swords. And plus the six. So I'm gonna use 10 swords total. Uh, and I'm going to also get another two glory. So I'm gonna total of 12 glory. I'm going to get rid of 10 of these demons. One, two, three. Ah! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten demons gone. Gain. 12 glory, so I go up to 29, like so, and then um, reduce all my swords down to zero, because I used all of them, and I gain 1, 2, 3, 4 victory points for doing that. Alright, um, I believe... That is my entire turn. Okay, uh, let's see. So I've got to unexhaust my board, so I get a victory point for that. And then uh, I got to play a sale action, so I'm going to use this guy. I am going to take a demon. The one, so I'm going to move. A, a single uh, a demon? Single. How will yeah, you survive? I don't know. And then I'm going to move over here, but then i got to draw a threat card. Four more. And then um, I get five money, and so do you, Lance, and I also get a victory point. Don't you get 10 money? What are you getting Each the money for? player, including you, well, this Island of Plenty thing. Oh, okay. I thought maybe you did a blessing. No, it's just because I have this ship upgrade unlocked. Nice. And then I get a victory point, and you get five money. Sweet. I'll get five, and but I get a victory point for doing that. And, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take my money. Thank you. And uh, that's me. 
All right. Uh, prep action. Couple of swords. That I'm gonna use immediately. Uh, but activate my warrior for a second time. So a total of six swords, and I'm gonna get two extra glory. So eight swords. Uh, so wait, sorry, four. I'm sorry. Two glory. Destroy six demons. So let's get rid of these six demons first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight more glory. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to gain two victory points for that, but I also score a chronicle. Right before you kill the Demon Lord. That's awesome. Um, I score a Chronicle because of the glory that I got. You get three demons, I get three demons. Hey, look, my cats are fighting. Great. <laughs> they don't like each other. Well, no, one wants to play and the other one wants to nap. Hold on a second. S'mores, get away from there. S'mores knows that if I get up, that means I'm getting the spray bottle. So he, he, starts, <laughs> he starts moving. Oh, okay, I don't want to get water. So, okay, so you're all done there, Lance? With with with, uh, with the pushing my cats around? Yes, I'm, I'm done pushing my cats around. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to get rid of this demon lord. Yeah, uh, right before it would have been helpful for me. Thanks for taking my victory ship, points from me. Ship upgrades. Um, for, for that, you get a ship upgrade, by the way. Oh, sweet. And uh, so this guy's dead, so what, I get eight? Plus the Chronicle. And we summon another demon. Yep. It's going to be, what, 23? And since you were the one that summoned the demon, you get the 12 demons. Oh, great. I'm going to have to start dealing with that, I think. And then plus two demons, uh, whenever you gain demons from now on, that says aura. Plus two demons whenever we gain demons. Slot number two. There he is, sitting there like a jerk. So I got to get how many? How many demons am I taking? Twelve. Twelve, sir. Oh, Twelve. Oh, Twelve. And again, thank you very much, everybody who's watching this live. And, and, and like, uh, you can play Eos City of Island of Angels, City of Angels, uh, I, Eos or Eos Island of Angels uh, on Tabletop Simulator, just like Roger and I are doing right now. Um, also, we are we host playtest sessions of this game every week. Uh, so if you are part of the Gray Fox Discord, uh, you can join that. And there's a link in the uh, little box for this. Um, you can join the Discord and you can sign up to be part of the playtest group as well. Playtesters get their names in the in the rule book uh, once the game is published. And once the games are published that they, you playtested, um, you get the option of purchasing the game at a deep discount. Uh, in you know for thanks for taking the time to play the game and give us our feedback. So. Oh shoot! You know what I forgot to do. I forgot to do. To, oh, oh yeah, my morale thing. So oh, yeah. um, that's gonna give me one stinking chronicle point, and uh, I am done. Perfect. All right. Um, so my last pawn. I'm trying to. I can't. I can't figure out a way to kill a demon right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a morale boost and. I mean, really, the only thing I can do is I'm going to, with a morale boost, I could go there and get, but I can't. gotta go up here My, so that gives me a sail action I'm just gonna take this 
this journey card. It's just uh, I'm not going to move at all, uh, but I will get that bonus sword from playing it. So I'll put that up there. Actually, that works out pretty well. Um, and now I will activate. I can't activate him. That stinks. Um, but I suppose what I could do is I could do. Uh, uh, oh man, I'm trying to figure out a way I can do this without, like, quicker than what I'm trying to do. Um, no, I better do this. So I am going to uh, spend my 15 money. One, two, three. I'm going to get two ranks. So let's go ahead and get this rank. And that rank and actually not that one that rank and this rank so, and I activated that so I got those ranks and that's kind of boring but that's my turn so you're up okay so for my third action I'm gonna get two swords for my next trick and I'm definitely going on my warrior so I'm gonna I'm gonna spend three I kill six of these guys you gonna spend your bonus swords yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to burn them all because I, I gotta get rid of some of this stuff hey why did I did I move the wrong pawn why are you way ahead of me how did you get way ahead of me uh, yeah, no, you didn't. That was right. I got 23 points. I was at 22. Oh, yeah. For, uh, You're the there. Killing the Demon and then also for the Chronicle thing. Gotcha. Oh, my gosh. Everybody, I'm losing to Roger. Does anybody, is anybody recording this? Yeah, well, <laughs> the, it won't count, of course. Well, no, yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's playtesting, so it doesn't, you know. It's not a, it's, it's not a league sanctioned game yeah, so. so then what i go seven on this so i get two more points oops let's keep seven all right and oh and i burn all of these and uh that will be my turn all right i gotta take a ship action so move all these guys back like so um then uh, oh, I, I guess I I get a I get a income marker on my, my treasure. I, he earns me more money now. I get to play a journey card. Um, you know what? Actually, hold on. Actually, I'm going to play this one and not move at all and use two swords. And I'm going to kill two demon. Like so. And then I go, the next one, hand size is fine. My last action, I get to kill, an, I get another sword, so I get to kill another demon. Like so. And that gives me three more glory. One, two, three. So I'm going to get one victory point. And then um, we both get a morale upgrade. And okay. I get two, I two victory points for that. And that actually allows me to do that. Oh, that actually worked out pretty sweetly. And then I gain two more glory. And so give myself one more there. And then another two for my bonus act. All right, you're up. Okay, so for my tough action, I'm going to take a morale upgrade, so I'm going to get 10 more. Where are you going? What are you doing? Let's see, I'm going to go here. I'm going to spend 17. And then I'm going to get uh, one rank, so I'm going to do this. And... Uh, 
Why, so why only one rank? You get, you oh, I should, oh, I should have put the demon here, huh? Yeah, duh. So I should have get two ranks. Uh, I'm going to do this one. Two ranks and morale, yeah. And a morale, and then I'll go here, and then I'll go up three more. Let's get another victory point. I'm not, I'm not really liking you being all <laughs> And uh, I think that's going to be it for me. All right. Um, well, shoot. All right. Well, I'm clear of demons, so I can activate my first officer. Um, I get two ranks. You get one rank. Um... And then uh, I'm going to activate a blessing action to save this angel. Um, I get Hephaesto, or whatever it is. I get this guy um, who has that remove one demon lord and negate its trophy. This is not considered a kill demon lord as an action. We have a demon lord out there. Uh, so then, but I'm going to gain the 16 victory points for defeating him. So that takes me to 54. Uh, everybody gains one demon. Okay. And, we get, we, and... Don't we get more Lance because of this guy? Oh yeah, sorry, we get three. Extra two. Thank you. For, thank you for the reminder. And then because I completed part of my The Great Promoter, win at least two epic adventures and I I, gain, I have two epic adventures to my credit, both uh, this one and this one, so I'm going to gain ten more victory points for doing that. Whew! In the lead again. I was a little worried there, but now I'm not. Now I'm not as worried. So, uh, so that, as they say, is that. I think I did that. I did that. I did that. I. Save the. All right, the next chronicle entry uh, ends the game. So, okay. Well, where are you I going? What ship, are you doing? I got to do a ship action, so I got to, I got to unexhaust my board. I get a victory point for that. And then, uh, let's see. I got to collect cards. So I'm gonna play this. Ooh, I like that. The barrels of beer. Yeah, so I get two. So I'm going to go here for two points. And my other one, I'm going to go here. And then I'm just going to move one. Move right there. And then um, I get five coins. You get five coins. I also get a victory point. I'll take your money. Um, all right. What's the best way for me to get some victory points here? As I listen to my cat attack a plastic bag behind me. Um, so. Oh, that cat. Um, Well, my prep action is going to be take some swords, and then I am going to activate my first officer again, and I'm going to spend ten money and get two ranks, and I will upgrade my first officer. Actually. Kind of a dumb decision. I'll upgrade my scout by two. 
I upgraded my scout by one, so. Uh, and that's it. That's my turn. Okay, so let's see. Um, do my crop out here, so I'm going to take two sword. And then I am going to go to my warrior. I'm going to spend 30. What? Holy cow, five swords in the end there. Yeah, so I'm going to kill seven, what, ten? Well, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where's the ten from? Oh, it'll be just nine. Never mind, it's nine. Always cheats. Always cheats. So, let's see, I'm going to take this one. You remind me of uh, Bobby Heenan. Rest in peace. Greatest wrestling man greatest wrestling manager of all time. Uh, you know, it's like, uh, win if you can, lose if you must, but always, always, always cheat. So that's going to give me three. So I'm in second place. So that's going to give me a total of six, right? Because I was at 12. One, two, 21. So that's three. One, two, three points there. And I'm second. So that's a total of six. Yep. Oh, this is, this is a close one. That is my turn. I can't let you get that last chronicle. I gotta get it. Um, all right. Morale upgrade. Gonna go here. Gonna kill three demons. Eh. I'm going to get three glory for that. Gain a victory point. And then to activate somebody. Let's go ahead and activate the treasure. I'm gonna get eight money. I'm gonna do two morale upgrades. Um, the first one doesn't really matter. I'm going to go here and I'm going to gain two journey cards. Actually, this might matter. That's my first morale upgrade. My second one will be. Oh, and I gotta do a. I gotta move with my sail action. Ah, do you have anybody that's ready to. You do! Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yep. Um, and also, Lance, um, I have this, too. That's what I hear when you talk. Um, let's, uh, you may awaken... Oh, boo. I don't think there's any way I can really get that for you. So... Lame. Well, I think we've run out of time. Uh... Thanks. <laughs> we'll never know who would have won. Um, I mean, uh, yeah. The, the negative thing for me, though, Lance, I'm going to lose. There's no way that I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to lose 11 points for. Well, the both. thing is, is that I think I, I could, I can, I can get there 
and I can do it, but it's going to be it's going to be interesting what's going to happen. So, um, well, let's do it. So I drew this one, the gambit. So uh, that will be. I can move five. So I'll move into the spot with the angel. And that was from going to this spot here is my first morale. Uh, oh no, that won't work because I because yeah, it won't won't matter. It won't matter um, because I, I thought for a second. Nope, it's not gonna work because I have to wait a turn and then your turn is next. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Summon two demons. <laughs> See what happens. Shoot. Uh, Glondon, the ruler of the Ember Mountains, and and Chanator, the Silent Hunter. Uh, increase all costs of all ship graves by 15. Cover up the last free slot on the Chronicle track with another Demon Lord. I just ended the game. Right. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very good. So, uh... If this ends the game, each player has another turn. Move that demon lord as soon as Glondon is killed. So, um, yeah, we each get one more turn. Let me. I gotta put a bunch of demons on my ship. So, uh, from my from the attacks I took, and also get rid of some ship upgrades. Not that it really matters, but uh, I guess you can still awaken the angel and get ten victory points if you want to. Right. Um... Well, let's, uh, yeah, so, uh, why am I going to do here? So I need to go here. It's going to cost me, oh, i got to do my prep, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go there, get a morale upgrade, so I'll get that one. Uh, it's going to cost me five. I do get a journey card. like that one. I'm going to get another Barrels of Beer card that I'm going to play. I just like the fact that I summoned two demons. Two. Okay, and then I get to move. So I will move there. Draw a threat then, card. Oh, you get a threat card, though. Ah, Two shield. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I would assume I have to redistribute these demons somewhere. Yes, sir. And uh, that is going to be my turn. All right. Um. Really? Yeah, that's well. That's all I can do. I mean, I. I I had to just get moved over there. I mean, I still need one more move to get. Gotcha, I'm gonna, gotcha. I've well, got then, two guys I can use to do it, but. Well, then I'm gonna. I, I guess I'm gonna awaken the angel. You get one sword, I get two, and this is the last turn of the game. So, uh, and then I'll, I'll awaken that last angel, which doesn't really matter which one I take. So I'll just grab one, and then I'll get ten victory points for it. But I got a bunch of stupid demons on my ship now. Oh, I've got a bunch as well, so. Alright, so, uh, total up your victory points for all of your morale upgrades, your rank upgrades. I didn't score my second part of my mission. Did you score any of your missions? Um, I've got every upgrade, ship upgrade I possess. Oh, and okay, yeah. yeah three the... For each angel I awoke. So, let's see, I awoke three angels, so that's 15 points. I played seven journey cards so that's 14 points that's 29 I had let's see 23 uh, 24 25 26 27 uh, 30 33 um, total now with my rank upgrades and then with each one of my morale upgrades so that's 3 plus that's 37, 31, 
42, 45 bonus points minus my demons. 1, 2, 6, 7, 12. So 45 minus 12, my math checks out. That's 33 bonus points I got. One oh eight, I think. Does that check out? Yeah, one oh eight is what I end up with. This is where you saw I scored eight thousand. No, I just twenty four. I, I have forty one more on top of this. So, 110. Look at that. Take a screenshot, Roger. because <laughs> yeah, that doesn't <laughs> much. Holy cow, though, that was so close. I almost pulled off the win by ending the game. Right. But, but the thing that killed me was the fact that I had to take all those demons from when right. I ended the game. Because yeah, but you you definitely had to do that because if I would have done that, that yeah, there's just, that there's just no way sure. I would have won. But no, holy cow, good game, good game. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, I, I kind of like I was I was like okay, I like having that sub man. Having the sub was super cool. Uh, like being able to just not have to, um, just ignore the threat, ignore ignore picking up demons. You know. I, I will, uh, if this one shows up in later games, I will definitely try to, to get that, like, right away. Because that really made it so it was just easy to move around the board. I mean, you have to do it right away. A lot of those a lot of those upgrades, it's like, they're they're helpful at the beginning. It's like any other game where, like, the earlier you get the, the good upgrade, the longer it right. continues it's giving you the reward. Yeah, yeah so. All right. Well, good game, man. Congratulations. Good win. Lance. Good win. Um, make sure you fill out the playtest information for the Noom, Noom. if you could. I pre if you could do that. Um, doesn't the Noom... I forgot what, like, what their... Oh, you know what? See, we did... I did miss this. You know, I'm just looking... <laughs> oh, man. Dummy, well, that's alright. You, you would have won, won even more so uh, with that. But um, that's even more depressing. That I lost. <laughs> Didn't even use my my uh, your divine, divine gardens. gardens. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you everybody for taking the time to watch this, uh, and then also thank you for um, watching it after the fact. Uh, EOS goes live on Kickstarter September 9th. If you have any questions about the game, by all means, you can reach out to us at Gray Fox Games and ask about that. You can reach out to King Raccoon. Um, yeah, and then, like I said, every Friday at noon, uh, that is when we'll be streaming. So if you're at work or if you're at home or you just need to listen to us banter or check out some games by Gray Fox, or if you have to be home and you want to join in, you can join the Gray Fox Discord and you can actually be part of the streams if you're so interested. So, um, all right. Roger, have an awesome day, buddy. Yeah, you too. The same, Lance. Thanks.